Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about ear cropping and ear posting and my experience with the process with our giant schnauzer puppy. Now, this is a very controversial topic, so if you ever decide to do this, just be prepared. You're going to get a lot of negativity. So if you do want to leave something negative, that is your right and choice and I support you, but I'm going to try to keep it positive and educational and just share my experience. I hope this helps somebody who is on the fence about it or maybe is planning to go through with it or someone who is going through it now. So we got our giant schnauzer puppy from a breeder in Missouri and since we're in Florida we had to have him shipped. But since the coronavirus they are not shipping animals on airplanes so we had to be transported in a car. Now we did get off to a really rough start because of our breeder. The breeder insisted that she sent me our puppy right away because of the coronavirus and shipping costs would be way too much. Our puppy arrived one day after his ear cropping surgery and it did go well. It was done professionally by a surgeon, board certified veterinarian, and he did a very good job. There was no infections or anything like that. You can see that they come with very fresh stitches that are loose around the edge of the ear just to help it stand up. And he did come in wrapping and we tried to immediately rewrap him when we got him, but the puppy came a day early. He came on Saturday instead of Sunday, so we couldn't even take him to the vet the next day. We weren't really comfortable with rewrapping ourselves after trying it a couple times, so we just made the decision that we're gonna have to leave his ears open and free for those two days until he can go to the vet. Again, this is not a typical process. Usually when you're getting a puppy from a breeder and there's an ear crop, you're gonna be receiving the puppy after the stitches are out, which is about 10 days to two weeks. And this makes a world of a difference for the process for you and it makes it a lot easier. If you have puppies and you're considering doing this yourself or maybe you're gonna get the puppy from a breeder and then take it to your vet to get cropped, just keep this in mind that it is a bit tougher and more sensitive in the beginning. And I would never say that this is an easy process. I would say this process should only be for very dedicated animal owners and those who have experience with animal care. It makes it a little bit easier. Now your vet's gonna be your best friend in this process because they're gonna know the proper way to do things always. But it does seem that every vet has a slightly different method on what they prefer. And some vets really don't have much experience with ear posting and ear cropping or the specific breed of dog that you are working with. Our vet posted his ears up in the traditional method with foam, medical tape, and a tongue depressor. The first time that they did this process with the tongue depressor on the top of his head, it was a little bit too long. You can see that those edges are sticking out. So the second time we actually told them to cut the edges off just to make it a little bit safer and less bulky because this is a much more bulky method for the ear postings and there are some other methods that I'm going to be talking about and showing you during this video. So these videos are from the first day we took him to the vet to get his ears wrapped up. He does still have the stitches in his ear and I just want to mention that since the first day we ever got this puppy he was strong, playful, content, doing everything a normal puppy would do which really makes me believe that the puppies don't mind this process at all as long as it's done by a reputable talented veterinarian and surgeon I don't think they mind this process at all if anything it's just a bit annoying to have these antennas on your head and you have to watch them a little bit closer just to make sure there are no accidents another reason we got this puppy is because of the quarantine and everybody's here all the time this puppy's with us all the time 24 7 we're watching him so you can see he eats, sleeps, plays, and does everything a normal puppy would do. You just have to be careful at this point. You really can't get this stuff wet and just keep an eye on them extra during this time and process. My puppy's very strong. He came from a legitimate breeder, although I do have some issues with her customer service. That's why I'm not going to be promoting her, but she did provide us with a very strong, beautiful puppy and we're really happy about that. So again, these are from the first day that he was posted up by the vet. Your vet's going to know the right way to do things and it should be your number one source with questions or anything like that. Now, how long will these posts stay on? It depends on your puppy and how naughty they are. This guy's quite naughty, but the posts, I would say, like this last about 
three to five days and then we take him back to the vet to get rewrapped up and then this process is going to go on for a long time i would never tell anyone it's quick or easy i would really only say it's for the most dedicated of animal owners and for whatever reason you're going to be cropping a puppy or a specific breed that's your business and we just wanna make sure that we're doing it right, proper, clean, and professionally because there are some horrible stories that have come from ear croppings and some bad crop jobs. So just make sure you go to the best of the best if you're gonna to decide to do this procedure. And again, it's important you do it when they're young because of that new cartilage that's forming and their ability to heal a bit quicker. Now your cropped puppy should be getting their stitches out between 10 to 14 days. And once those stitches come out, it does make it a lot easier, but you just wanna be careful when those stitches are in there with your puppy scratching or getting into anything naughty. Now this video shows the second time that he was wrapped up by our vet. And you can see that the tongue depressor on the top of his head is shorter. It's not sticking out like the first time. And that's because we personally asked them, make sure you cut off the edges just so it's not sticking out it makes it less bulky and hopefully a little bit safer so you can see this is the second time that he got wrapped up he does still have the stitches in but they do check for anything that's abnormal our puppy was doing great he's healing great at this point and they do apply an antimicrobial spray onto the ears just to make sure it's bacteria free but again you can see these puppies do everything normal even with their ears like this sometimes they will shake or they'll try to scratch it and again, that's why it's so important for you to be with your puppy 24 seven during this process. So again, it's really something you need to dedicate yourself to. So I'd just like to mention that after we wrap the puppy up a couple times, we do like to let him breathe for a couple days. We like to take the wraps off completely to let the ears dry out completely and just to check on the progress and give them a break for a day or two. I think they really appreciate that. You can see that the stitches are still in at this point, so this is in the very beginning process, and his ears are standing up already, but they eventually will flop, which is why we have to keep reposting them. Every dog's a bit different. Some take a couple months, some could take a full year. It just depends on your dog's individual process. During this time, we were using an over-the-counter antimicrobial spray that I got from the local pet store. And this just helped keep the ears dry and clean. And you really wanna be aware of any nasty smells that are coming from the ear. You wanna make sure that the wrappings are not too tight. But again, your vet will know the proper way to do things. You should always go to them as your number one source. It's also a lot easier than trying to do it yourself. And they only charged us $18 for the wrappings every time time we went back so that's really affordable and it's really worth it in my opinion to just let your vet do it especially during this time where there are stitches in your puppy's ear you want to make sure the vet is constantly monitoring those stitches and just making sure the process is going as it should I just want to mention that no time during this process so far has my puppy ever acted hurt lethargic or abnormal ever since the beginning day one he's been a very strong healthy and energetic puppy so always make sure you're going to a legitimate breeder when you're getting a purebred dog that does genetic and health testing on the parents it just gives you a better peace of mind and a stronger puppy so here you can see is another day that we're giving him a break from those ear postings and he does still have the stitches here so you want to be careful that they're not getting their head wet Nothing like that is gonna get caught. Always keep an eye on your puppies during this time. As you can see, my guy is quite curious and he gets into just about everything. So it's really important, especially during this time, those first two weeks that the stitches are in, that you're watching them closely. That doesn't mean that they shouldn't be allowed to explore and do all of those fun puppy things, but just be extra aware and cautious during this time of any other animals, anything it could get caught on. And especially, I would say number one is them trying to scratch it with their legs so you got to stop them from doing that you could get a cone or something like that but we are always with the puppy so we just prevent him from doing that when he's sleeping you can see he doesn't mind whatsoever he's having a little puppy dream in this video i guess and again this is in the beginning process of those first two weeks where he has stitches in his ears 
So hopefully when you get your puppy, the stitches are out because it's so much easier and there's so much more peace of mind when it comes to this whole process. Now, ear cropping has been around for a long time along with those debaters that go back and forth on the topic. So there's always going to be people who are doing this and we want to make sure that there's enough information out there that they're doing it correctly, professionally and properly just to make it easier and a better process on everyone involved. Giant schnauzers were originally cropped by farmers because they were bred to be farm dogs and to be ratters. So that's why they have a beard, docked tails, and cropped ears, was to protect them from the rats that were biting them. It's also the breed standard, just like the Dobermans. And then these dogs evolved to become protection dogs, search and rescue dogs, and even service dogs. So another argument for ear cropping is that it makes it harder for predators or any an intruder to grab the ears and hurt the dog in that way while they're participating in that guard role. You can see that they really don't seem to mind this as long as it's done properly and safely. They live their best life. They're living like a puppy just as they normally would. It's just a bit annoying that you have to keep extra tabs on them and they probably don't really understand why because they don't even notice that it happened. When people are spending thousands of dollars on a dog and they decide to crop it, that's something that they're going to do. So I hope that this information helps someone who's on the fence about it, someone who doesn't know anything about the process. And I just wanna share my experience with it. I know it's controversial and I will get some backlash as I already have, but I'm very honest with the process and I just wanna show the truth about this choice, about this breed and everything that, that I'm experiencing so far. Obviously, I still have have a little puppy I have a long way to go so I might do part two and part three videos on this topic as I go along the way but this is the process of traditional wrapping and what it looks like in a giant schnauzer puppy that is normal healthy it was done professionally it was actually a very good job that this veterinarian did we did send pictures of the look that we would prefer but the vets usually crop the ears whichever way they think they are gonna stand best. So just keep that in mind that every dog is going to be a little bit different in this process and every vet's a little bit different in the process too. So here, these first few videos that I've shown you are with the traditional wrapping method. We did switch over to a more lightweight method, which is from a private company called House of Hoyt. And we just sought them out for the ear posting system called the Quick Brace. So I'm gonna show you some videos of that. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that. And I really like this system so far, so let's get into it. So before we put on this system, he did have his stitches removed, so we took him on a treat to go to the beach. He seemed to really love that, so the veterinarians removed the stitches, and there is a tiny bit of redness that you'll see, and maybe a little bit of scabs, but it's very normal, and it goes away after about two days. So we did decide to take him to the beach and have some fun. You can see that his ears are standing up beautifully at this point, but again, they'll eventually flop if you just left them like this, so we're going to keep posting them up and again it depends on the individual dog how long it's going to take. So you can see here that our puppy Vader has the quick brace system on and it's very lightweight. It's actually a wire with absorbent tape and then you put masking tape in between it just so nothing will be caught on it. This is much more lightweight than the traditional wrapping methods but it does require a medical grade adhesive. So they do have a really great video that shows you how to do all of this. You have to call in to order this system and they do take custom measurements of your puppy but the stitches are out at this point and they did tell me that you can use this system when the stitches are in we just weren't comfortable doing that and we just prefer letting our vet do the wrapping while the stitches were in. Once the stitches were out though, we did apply the Hoyt Quick Brace system ourselves. And the way that it works is that it uses a medical grade skin adhesive and absorbent tape connected with a thin wire. So you're basically painting the medical adhesive on the inside of the ear and then onto one side of the brace letting it dry and then sticking them together. So it's actually the adhesives that are sticking together instead of the brace 
lace sticking to the ear directly or the adhesive sticking to the ear directly you just remove it with a medical adhesive remover and it's very easy and simple so you can see this is much more lightweight it lets the edge of the ears breathe completely when you first get the stitches out you might see a couple scabs but that's totally normal as long as there's not any pus or bad smelling stuff so yeah this is the system he's in now this video shows the first time we put the quick brace on and this video shows the first time we took it off after about four days you can see that it does have a slightly different shape than the traditional wrapping methods but the hoyt website only shows dobermans so it will be interesting to see what the final result would look like on a giant schnauzer we're not entirely sure if this is going to be the only method we're using we might mix in the traditional method as well we're just kind of going along the way i also just want to mention that this video is not intended to suggest to anybody that ear cropping is the right or better choice for giant schnauzers or any other dog like it i simply just want to share my experience and the truth about it so if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave a comment or send me a direct message i always reply to you guys thanks for watching and i hope this helps